Hello, my name is Amy Eckert and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial and review on the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Quad. This eye quad does not disappoint. It's in the plum shades and it comes with a base, a define, a contour, and a highlight. So if you want to see how I got this look, please stay tuned. So today I'm going to start out with the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray and this is for oil control. Then I'm going to jump in with the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. It's mattifying and oil free. This is made by Hourglass. I actually came across this brand because I had received a sample in a package and I was really shocked at A, how close to my skin color that was and B, how wonderful the foundation lasted throughout the day. So I went ahead and took the big plunge and bought the whole bottle to see if I really enjoyed it as much as a sample. I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of highlight. This is with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter. So I'm just gonna put this up underneath my eyes, dot it a little bit, kind of blend that out with the Beauty Blender. What I like about this um, L'Oreal Magic Lumi is it is light and so it doesn't cake up it doesn't fill in it just adds a light brightening look and as you age this is kind of exactly what you need in the t-zone I'm going to use the Ofra pressed powder this is also oil control and only in the t-zone will I use it I will go in with the Hoola Bronzer. This is by Benefit. It's just a nice light bronzer. It comes with a little mini brush. So I'm gonna cut in my cheekbone a little bit. I'm going to give that sun-kissed look along my forehead, carve out the lower jaw, and just smooth that out. The next step is going to be the MAC, and this is in Warm Soul. It's a mineralized bronzer brush. Blonzer brush. Then I'm going to go with the Diamond Glow Powder from Artist Control, Artist Couture. Oh my gosh, I can't speak already today. And I'm just gonna highlight the cheekbones, the nose, and the cupid's bow. Next, I will go in with L'Oreal, and this is their lip pencil toffee. I always like to line my lips just to give a nice defined look no matter what color I'm going to put on my lips. Speaking of lips, today's lip choice is by Urban Decay. This has become one of my favorite lip colors and this is in peyote and it's the metalized version. I will go in with my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate with a nice angular brush to give myself some brows and fill in any spots that are a little sparse. Filling in my brows does take a little bit of time. Um, my brows are very thin and very sparse, so I do like to use the Anastasia because it stays on all day and it fills in nicely. We will go in with my new Shadow Insurance from Too Faced and just dab that along my eye. This gives you, or gives me, an opportunity to keep my eyeshadow on all day. Here we go, Shade and Light, the Quad Palette in Plums. I'm gonna start out with the lightest color. I like to use a light color from my eyelashes all the way up to my brow bone. I just feel like putting a good base color all along the eye just really helps blend your eyeshadows as you build color. I will take the base color. It's kind of a pinky-ish color and I'm going to use that as my highlighter or excuse me, my transition color. And I will use windshield wiper motions to apply that. Take a quick sip of coffee because this girl gots to keep on going. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in again as the transition color above the crease. 
Speaking of creases, I'm going to take the middle color and I'm going to sweep that in the crease along the outer V. And just use again the windshield wiper motions to blend that in. I'm going to use a little flat fluffy brush and this one I'm going to use with the deep plum. I'm going to do circular motions and I'm going to actually kind of bring this in on the outer thirder, thirder, third bit of my eye and it's kind of going to be a little bit more of a slanted look and I'm just going to keep blending this in with the medium and lighter shade. I'm going to take my little round brush and since I am still half asleep, I'm going to pop that in on the inner corner of my eye to make myself look a lot more awake than what I feel. Still waiting for the coffee to catch in or catch up. Next, I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take the lightest color and sweep that in from the inner corner to the outer corner. Going in with my tartiest eyeliner, I'm going to put that on the inner corner because in a moment we are going to take the medium plum and we are going to smoke that out along the eyelash line. So I like to use the black on the inner corner and then take a um, one of the colors I've used on top of my eye and just kind of blend those two together from the inner water line um, along my lash line to give it a smoky look. Next, I'm going to try a new product. This is by the Beauty Bakery and it is a plum color cream eyeliner. As you guys know, I really like the cream eyeliners and this Beauty Bakery, I've just come across and really like the product. It stays on, it doesn't move and it doesn't transfer. For me, that's important. So I'm going to take the plum that, or the darkest plum, and I'm going to use that right above and smoke out what I just put on with the Beauty Bakery and kind of just give that cream liner a little more staying power. My favorite is to dot along the lash line on my lid, not necessarily the lashes with the lash glue. This helps set up some stickiness. Popping on the lashes, and by the way, I did put glue on the lash, the lashes themselves, so that both sides become tacky and make putting on the lashes even better. Of course, I'm using my favorite lighted tweezers because the lighted tweezers really help pop on these false lashes a lot easier. And these are actually by Ardell. Ardell is one of my favorite lash companies. I don't have to cut them. They are formed well and they pop on your eye easy and stay. We are going to use the Charlotte Tillsbury Legendary Lashes and we are going to add a coat of the mascara to my lashes just to blend my lashes in with the falsies and give my lashes a nice blackish color. My winky is always added for my sister by the way. We're going to go in with some pressed powder and just kind of finish off and dot the look. As you notice I only sweep along the neck not the face. Finally, we're going to end with the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray for All Lasting Stay Power. So I hope you enjoyed my quick tutorial for, of the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I really love Kat's product. She never lets us down. I do want to thank you for your time. I appreciate it as always. If you could, please subscribe or give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. I hope you make it an absolutely beautiful day. See you soon.